Good day, Tinkercad friends. I have got a new circuit for you to play with. We are going to do a quick breadboard project that has a RGB LED. These are totally wicked cool because you can make many, many colors. I'm going to tell you to drop it in one row down. So I'm going to use row I of column 16 or whatever. When that's complete, start by finding the cathode and then connect the next hole up to the negative rail and make it black. And you don't have to make it black, that just makes everything stay organized so it's a lot easier later. I'm going to organize this project a little different. Uh, I am going to have a resistor down on the bottom rail, so I'm going to use the positive uh, rail on the bottom of the breadboard. And I'm going to connect it just like this, so you can see it was on the positive rail even though it's on the other half of the board. Let's grab our battery and bring it out. I always like to rotate it so the ends are facing towards the project. Let's bring it closer and let's make it four batteries so we've got all six volts. Connect your negative to your negative and just like we did a moment ago, make it black. Connect the positive to the positive and let's stay organized and make it red. I want to bring in a brand new component called a potentiometer. I want you to set it to the left. I want you to switch it to 500, but then the important thing is I want you to make it just ohms. And then I want you to click on that little fella and do control C to copy and control V to paste and drop one beside it and then drop in a third. RGB stands for red, green, and blue, so we're going to have a potentiometer that lets us change the values for the red, green, and blue of this LED. As we arrange these, let's move them to the very top for a minute. And you see how it has a wiper? The wiper has to be connected to the legs of the LED. So we're going to connect it to the red row. Notice I don't click, click in the exact same spot. I click one down. And then with our organizational system, I'm going to connect red to there. It also has terminals 1 and terminal 3. You can use either of those, and you need to connect it from that terminal to the resistor. And that's where it's going to get its electricity. Let's keep it organized and make it red. And then let's drop our potentiometer back in place. Let's move the next one up. Let's find the next leg. Remember, this leg was our cathode, so we skip it. And we go to our blue. Blue has to connect to the wiper, which I'm going to put behind it. I'm going to switch it to blue just for organizational sake. I'm going to connect its wiper. And I'm going to switch to a different row on each of these so it stays nice and clear for me. I'm going to make it blue. And then I'm going to bring this one down and put it in place. I'm going to put it one above just because that makes it look nice and slick. I'm going to bring this up for a minute. Actually, I'm going to bring it over. And then I'm going to just choose. I'm going to go wiper will be on this pin. So then when I bring it back, I just need to make sure I line it up. So there I lined it up. And I'm going to go one column below it. And then I'm going to connect this to this. So I've got my green wire getting electricity as well. At this point, you're ready to test your amazing little project. If you start the simulation and you adjust the potentiometers, you can now change the color of your LED. That's how an RGB LED works. When you change the amount of current, you get different colors. I hope you had fun exploring this and hope to find you back soon to do another amazing experiment.